Our camera lens trained on one man. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. And welcome to a stadium that's always a pleasure to visit, Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa facing Burnley. Yeah, the talking is over, the game plans are set. Now it's up to the players to go out and earn their corn. There's nothing the managers can do once the first whistle goes. I think, Derek, we're in for a cracker. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. Good game. Have a great game. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Good luck. Hey. Good luck. Good luck. Cheers. Thank you. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thank you. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. This is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. Enjoy the match. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. The third formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. And now they get the ball rolling. Matt Target. It's with Nakamba. Trezeguet. Sanson. Intercepting it intelligently. Tarkovsky. Jack Court now. So for Aston Villa, a very good victory in the last game against Sheffield United. How do you see it going, Lee? Well, they conceded two away from home last time, but they scored three. But will they win today? I'm not so sure. It'd be a lot tighter. I'm going for a draw. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. So a throw in here. But he keeps going. Crossed into the penalty area. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Number 12, Robbie Brady. a foul but good use of advantage by the referee I think you've got to conclude that was good refereeing a free kick in the end after initially playing advantage but it just wasn't there well that could be his final rebuke I think and the referee's making that absolutely clear well, I like that Derek good refereeing nice and strong told the player exactly what he was thinking well, here's the table, and interesting, Leicester City there, I think not quite performing up to the standards that we thought they might. Well, you just expect them to be in a Champions League place all the time, and they're not. They've dropped their standards right from the top to the bottom. Maybe Ashley Barnes able to get his body in the way. There's been a goal in the Chelsea match. Alan McAnally with the details. It's a goal for Everton. 12 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers again, Alan. Yeah. 
and they have possession again. Consa. And here is Mings. Sanson. Tyrone Mings. And Cash with it. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Ollie Watkins. And space for the cross. Just cutting off the supply. And showing good defensive judgment. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Ashley Barnes. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Well, visionary passing. It just needs to remain icy cool. Big chance. And a goal to square the game. Into the seat stuff. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely, quick counter-attack that sets up the chance, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Goal for Aston Villa, number 10, Jack Grealish. Josh Brownhill. And Barsley on the ball. Jay Rodriguez. Jack Cork now. Effective challenge. And news of a goal at Anfield. Here's Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Arsenal. 30 minutes played. 1-1. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. I must say, this looks promising. Nakamba. John McGinn. Sanson. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Tyrone Mings. It needs an accurate cross. And he did what he had to do defensively. A danger here as he runs at them. Excellent challenge. Well, time to bring in Alan McAnally because I'm hearing there's been a goal at St Mary's. Alan. It's a goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Might be able to set up the chance. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Marvellous Nakamba. Watkins. with Morgan Sanson chance to run at them delivering it into the box well, a little lucky to get away without a card might be his last warning though
Well, as we see, this is probably the best angle. He picked his spot. He didn't change his mind, and the keeper's got no chance. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. Well, 2-1 it is here. Cork. It's with Barnes. Brady. Intense pressure. The high press was very much on. Stevens. Wonderful chance. And finishing there with more of a whimper than a bang. Derek, that reminded me of you. Finishing like that. It's just terrible. I wouldn't have done that well. <laughs> Tyrone Mings. And so it is. The first half story has been written. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire, and a steely determination. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Brownhill, Phil Bardsley, Stevens, getting in there to take it away. Cash, it's with Morgan Sanson. Matt Target, almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Inside he go. Well, good clean catch by the keeper. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Aston Villa taking on Brighton. Great opportunity. Oh, good save. They won't complain about having won the corner, and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Now the delivery, and that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Played into the center of the box. It had an invitation attached, but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks he's in just wide. And given away. 15 minutes of domination for Villa. And that shot from seemingly miles out. Close. Well, he got too much space and he thought, why not? Why not shoot from here? Robbie Brady and news of a goal at St Mary's Alan McAnally can fill us in it's a second goal for Brighton and Hove Albion 58 minutes played 2-0 thanks Alan Barnes able to get his body in the way 
Well worked, I think, at this stage, going back to the chance from earlier. So the corner played into the box. And on the volley, that's not exactly how he intended to catch it. Well, it's worth a chance. One in ten, it goes in the top corner. Nine out of ten, goes where it did do. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Burnley facing Manchester United. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. Matt Target. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And that will mean a caution. Well, definitely a yellow card, Derek. He plays it short. Matt Target. And Cash with it. And slipped through beautifully. Superb save from the keeper. Well, that's what you're paying for. Defenders defend. Goalkeepers make saves like that. And he's fired over the corner. That's a decisive punch by the keeper. John McGinn. Tyrone Mings. Giving the ball away. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Well, that is how to play advantage. Might really be able to trouble them here. Barnes. Brady. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here's the replay. It's a really good passing move in the build-up. And then the composer is impressive as he smashes the ball with all he has to beat a forlorn goalkeeper. Brilliant strike. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Marvelous Nakamba. Josh Brownhill. Substitution across the touch line, so a throw in here. Number 10, Ashley Barnes. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Matt Target. It's with Nakamba. Watkins. Useful looking ball. And there is the goal to re establish their advantage. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal, do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Cork. Josh Brownhill. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Westwood, good-looking pass, 
They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Neil Taylor. It's with Morgan Sanson. John McGinn. Here's Grealish. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Dangerous looking attack. Oh, a fine block. Grealish. This looks promising. Lacamba. And here's Sanson. And he takes it away. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Robbie Brady. Substitution for Burnley. Time for a change then. The pitch. Number 12, Robbie Brady. To be replaced by number 27, Matej Vajda. Well, the crowd have reacted to this effort the players are putting in. They just need to keep their concentration and the game should be theirs. How can he take them on and beat them? Neil Taylor. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, that is a moment I'm sure he wishes he could have back. Well, he did everything right, the movement and everything. He got his head on it, but it's way, way off target. On to Tarkovsky. Jack Cork now. Well, still time for them to level it. And that puts them in position. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. Lee, your assessment. Well, Derek, either side could have won that. That's how tight it was. That will feel like six points, not three. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple. Well, visionary passing. Just a minute of your time.